in English, half was Italian and the other half was English. Because remember, the Federation, in fact, I read in one bulletino, they had to get permission, one of the branches, to have their meeting in English. Because in the early days, they were in Italian. We still have one branch that I know of. It's a branch in Chicago, Teresa Hultman. They still meet in Italian. I, when I, go, I used to go back you know, once a year to try to help out in the district, and I'd go to their branch meeting, and everything was in Italian. And here comes a person who can't speak Italian, only speaks Lombardo, my dialect, and we'd have a good time. they talk Italian, I'd get up and say a few words, and we had a nice time. But that's about the only branch that I know. But the old bylaws of the branches, and even the set, were in Italian and English. We had news books. And this one was in 19, our branch, and even all the old branches. She was a social member. The old branches, there were two kinds of member. Social, my mother was a benefit member. Benefit was kind of like our hospitalization program. I think the last branch that was a benefit branch might have been branch 20. They paid more dues, okay? And if they got sick while they were in the hospital or convalescing, they would get paid $5 a day or 10. And you know, I can remember, then you had spies. Did you see her? She collecting, but she went out of the house shopping, so we shouldn't pay her the $10. That's probably why it finally ended, okay? But in those days, my mother, as a, a benefit member, she paid $2.40, okay? That was, now, the regular members, this lady, she paid 30 cents. That was the dues. 30 cents, my mother had to pay more because she would be able to collect. And we, we had a lot of what we called the benefit members, and you paid them. Then finally at a convention, they stopped. The ones that were there could officially stop, and only benefit branch could close it. So we had the dues loans. One of my early souvenir programs, you know, here, night, I wasn't there, 1937 Los Angeles Convention. You can see how small it was, but you read some of these things, what they did, and, and you know, Bromo Seltzer, you have the bottle, the advertisements that were in here, and even the banquet. I think the banquet in Oakland was $1.50, the banquet. You know, now we're up to a little more than $1.50. But I mean, you know, we're going back, we're going back a long time. But if you have a chance, this is up there. The one that I like, this is my first convention, 1958. This was a souvenir book. This is my first convention that I went to. It was in Oakland at the Leamington Hotel. Gone now. And I can remember we were upstairs, and, you know, we were kids, huh? and we would throw the ice down because they had a metal roof. And you could hear it, boom, boom. <laughs> and uh, that was the time we started our drum corps. Because if you look back at the Federation, you know, I don't know, your oldest one here is Branch 21. Uh, we had drum corps, we had drill teams, we had them in our branch. We had basketball teams. We had uh, the theatrical group went around putting on plays. You had everything. We didn't have televisions. Huh? The ICF was the thing. And you really went around and it was a really a tight family where they would visit. And that was our first time. We started learning the drum two weeks before this convention. So we had a big sign. Have faith in us in 59 when we went to Bakersfield. Because we figured out there a whole year we might learn how to drum. <laughs> and we marched at that parade at the uh, Limington. We went around the lake. We're the new cathedralists. We, that was where we, I can, the Living Hotel was right there, we marched around. Mm -hmm. So, even an old picture here, this goes way back, because it, it's 19, oh my, got it on the back. You know, we used to get outside after a convention, 1927, and you know, I love this, because ladies, look at your hats you wear, you know, the things were whoop, like a toilet bowl, <laughs> up there, you know, amazing. This was 1927, none of your branches are here, because I think, you know, it was too early before we came to Santa Cruz. Um, but they were all over here with their banners. They had their banners out, very proud to take the picture. You know, we're kind of shy the Italians, but I guess in those days they loved it. <laughs> so that's why we're here. That's the reason Luigi and Father Bendini brought this organization together. We're not as strong, we were close to maybe 30,000. But why were we at 30,000? Because anyone who wanted to go to Italy cheap joined the ICF. You know? I can remember my president, Rita. She was home, and I went to her door and knocked. I said, I understand you want to go to Italy, but you can go for $420 if you join the ICF. She said, that was my biggest mistake. I joined. And she was president for 12 years. You know? She loved it. She still remembers, even though she lives in Colorado. But the flights brought in a lot. 
But now we're, we're as uh, Rosen said, we're holding. We bring in members. Huh? We bring them in. But there are too many going out the back door. We bring them in the front door or that door, and then they go out that door. And that's what we have to work on. But are we still doing what we were started to do? And when I was grand president, I remember sitting down with Bishop Maher, who went to Santa Rosa. At that time, he was in San Diego. And he was asking me, do you think the Federation still, we still need it? And I looked around and I said, you know, Bishop, yes. Many things have changed, but I see in our own families, you know, first Sunday morning we fight and swear, okay, you're going to church, kids. You know, why? I went after I swore all that time, I don't know. But you know, and then when they get married, there's a time a lot of them, you know, forget. And now, you know, they see and they come back in some of them. And that is, that was our main purpose, huh? To bring us all back, when, no, no matter what nationality we are. To bring us to the church. You know, that's, that's our thing. That's why you see the Z, huh? It doesn't say country, it says Catholic. It's our faith. And that's, that was the purpose. And Luigi had in the old ritual when you became a member, it said, let it be said of us what was said of the early Christians. See how they love one another. You know, that's the family. So that's the history. The structure, I went into the Central Council. We have our grand officers. We meet three times a year plus the convention. We have a, a short meeting at the convention, the Central Council. The Executive Committee meets nine times a year. We just met last a week ago Friday. The Executive Committee goes over all the work of the ICF. What's happening? The branch is going to close something? We need to look at it. Okay? Jim Jones gives a report on all the deputies, all the branches. What are the district deputies saying? We look at it. We study it. Anything that comes up in the Federation, we go over it. Then when we come together with the Central Council, then everyone on the Central Council comes together. We start at 10 o'clock in the morning, break for lunch, and we end about 5 o'clock. In fact, our last executive committee was a four-hour meeting. That's how much we have to go over. And we go over everything. All the committees at the Central Council give their report. What's happening on the local committees that we have appointed? You know, the chairperson gets up, explains this. And this is the structure of it. And it's been this way since 1924. Okay. We've met, done things, representatives from different areas, and we come together. So roughly, I don't want to talk for five hours, Roughly, I've given you why we're here, the structure. If you have any questions, and if you have any questions anytime, you know, don't wait. Just let us know. We can answer anything we can do. I told you, Carmen and I are in Arizona now. So slowly, you know, because of that convention two years ago, people came there and they read about it. We had the big article in the, uh, their Catholic, what's theirs? Sun. The Catholic Sun. And a lot of people called. And that's where we're going. We're going to Tempe, which is right in the same area, by the college there. The priest happens to be an Italian priest, and a young lady is pushing, I want an organization. I want to bring back the heritage. I want to bring back the Christian values again. And so we'll be going there next. But that's kind of what we're doing. We're still operating and working. Sure, we're modernizing, changing different things. But we are the Italian Catholic Federation. And you are an important part of here in this diocese. You remember, Luigi was very close to all the bishops, very close, and worked with all of them. And so we still, through your bishop days, we still keep very close with the bishop. Any questions?